Hey guys, so Akila Pitts here. I just had to record a quick video and walk you through what just rolled out in Asana. Asana, y'all know, is my project management system of choice. I am an Asana certified pro and they just announced yesterday that they came out with forms. So of course, as you can see on my screen, I hopped into my demo account and I am getting ready to play around with forms. So I just wanted you guys to take the journey with me. So let's go ahead and get started. Right now I am inside of a template project plan. Again, I was just wanting to play around the account. So I went ahead and pulled this plan up. And if you haven't heard the announcement about forms, forms are located within a project. It is, if you look across the top, it is right here next to the file section. When you click on forms, this appears to be the default for the forms. It'll have a name space and an email space, okay, that you can add to the form. Over here is where you can make the form all fancy. If you have any type of custom fields that you want to add to the form, you can do that. If I click on that, it pops it up over here. This is just a generic uh, priority custom field with the high, normal, and low. You can also make it required. So I can put that on there. The next thing I can do is I can ask a question or add any questions to this form. So if you can see here, once I click on that, you decide if it's gonna be a single line text, paragraph, number, drop down, multi-select, date, or attachment. So I can put single line text for task name, something like task name. Apparently, I'm having trouble talking today. And see those three, those six dots right there? I can just kind of move this up, put that there. I could do another a paragraph text and say something like task description. Again, I can move this up. Now, if this is all that I want to do, I can come over here to the settings and I can select a field for the task title, meaning that once this form is submitted, which field do I want Asana to pull from to make the actual task name, okay? So I don't want the form name to be that. I want it to be the task name. So I just set that here. Now, this right here is where I'm like, really, Asana? Because it says, always send tasks to, and you only have one assignee name here. What I would prefer is I would prefer for this to be a field that we could add, just like with custom fields. I would prefer that this could be a field that we can add where all the people who were a part of this project were listed in a drop down field and we could just select the assignee. I don't necessarily like the fact that it has to be assigned to one person. However, if you are somebody like me who's a project manager and you guys have a dedicated project for requests, then that would definitely be a great uh, asset because it's coming to directly to me if I'm the person who is the one that's dispersing all tasks. So initially when the form is filled out, it'll be assigned to me. And then once I review it and determine that everything within the task, we have all the information that we need, then I can reassign it and give it a due date to the right person. So I see the pluses to this setup, but again, I would prefer if this was a setup where you could actually choose any person who is a part of this project and make them an assignee. So that's my little soapbox. <laughs> but anyway, you have the form. And once you determine that the form is how you want it, then you can go ahead and view the form. If you click on this, 
and it pops up in the next screen and this right here is your form so as you can see if i click on here drop down menu now i will tell you that even though i created a field with the task description i'm pretty confident that this probably is not going to populate in the actual description area of the task i may be wrong so let's test it out and then i'm going to hit submit okay so it has been received as you can see this request has been added to asana da, 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 da. all right so let's hop back over to asana i'm going to go over to the list there we have it see that there is the create landing page graphic task it is set to normal which was the priority field that I chose and here's what you see now this right here I could actually get with and that is the fact that everything as it relates to the form shows up in the description box so even my task description information is right here in the description box. So that's great because you could also create a field called due date so that anybody who's looking at this knows what the due date is. Again, I would prefer that that was something that you could add to the form, but I know this is a new feature for Asana, so that may be coming down the road. Now, if we go back over to forms, you see right here that this is the link. So I could copy this link and I could share it with someone and they can just pop it right in, which is great for those who have people on their team who have not yet fully gotten on board with Asana and you, you're giving them a more streamlined way to submit task requests and things of that nature. Okay, because as you know, you can correspond when it comes to tasks. You can correspond via email or you can actually log into Asana and do what you need to do. But the main question here was how do you assign tasks? So this is answering that question of how you can assign tasks without actually logging into Asana. Again, if this, this is only if you have situations where people are still transitioning to the fact of whether or not they really want to get on board with using the sauna, which can be a process depending upon who you're dealing with. The other thing is that you can cut these forms on and off at any point, which means that people can and cannot have access to these forms, especially if this is a project that's ended and you want to make sure that nobody else is submitting information as it pertains to this specific project. Now, forms feature is a feature that is only available at the business and enterprise level at this time. As you know, Asana has a paid tier or it has, yeah, gives paid options. And then there's a free version, which most people are 100% good as far as the free version is concerned. But if you find this valuable, you definitely may want to consider upgrading to either business or enterprise, depending upon the needs of your business. And this also helps when it comes to using any third party type forms for a submitting tasks like WooFlu forms or things of that nature. So there are some benefits. I do like the feature. I'm not gonna lie and say I don't like the feature. I do like the feature because there are some clients that come to mind where <laughs> this will be something that they absolutely love. However, I do think there are some things that they need to kind of develop, including this, uh, always send task to feature. So just want to go ahead and create this video. I hope you guys have found this helpful. And if you need any assistance as it relates to projects, don't hesitate to reach out to me at akilapis.com or send me a private message. All right, take care. Bye.